a force of 20 newtons parallel to the line of inclination is applied to a block of mass 2 kilograms, inclined on a 30 degree rough plane. The coefficient of friction between the block and the plane is 0 0.1. The block starts from rest. Find the distance travelled in the first 4 seconds of motion. So if we set up an IJ uh, axis, so this will be the I axis, this will be the J axis. Good idea to write this line in here and write that this is going to be 30 degrees, the same as the angle of inclination. So the block has an acceleration of A meters per second squared, which we really need to find before we can find the distance. So using friction, F is equal to 0 0.1 times R, using this idea that F is equal to mu times R, resultant, and then resolving in the I direction, so resolving in this direction, we're going to have 20, 20 in this direction, and then we're going to have 22G sine 30 degrees, minus it, because it's in that direction, minus F, is going to be equal to the mass, which is 2 kilograms, times the acceleration we're trying to find. Substituting in this into it, we can have writing F as 0 0.1 times R is equal to 2A. Right, if we now call that equation 1, if we now resolve in the J direction, then we're going to have R minus 2G cos 30 degrees, so it's going to be the, the component here, which is 2G cos of 30, and that's equal to 0 because these are in balance, there's no acceleration this way. So we're going to get that R is equal to 2G cos of 30, and we'll call that equation 2. If we now substitute equation 2 into equation 1, we're going to get 20 minus 2G sine 30 minus 0 0.1 times 2G cos 30, because this is R, is equal to 2A. And then rearranging that, we're going to have A is 20 minus 2G sine 30, 0 0.1 times 2 is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 g cos 30 divided by 2, it gives an acceleration of 4.251 meters per second squared. Now, the uh, thing starts from rest. We want to know the time, tra the distance traveled in 4 seconds. We now know the acceleration is 4.251 meters per second squared. So using s is equal to ut plus a half at squared, then we're going to have s is equal to 0 times 4 plus a half times 4.251 times 4 squared. Don't round off prematurely, otherwise you'll get to make a mistake. That gives you 34.010, which, correct to three significant figures, is 34 metres.